another thing to be aware of as a small business owner is now that your, ta your taxes are different. No longer can you file the 1040EZ where you just have a W-2 and, and uh, get to use the simple forms. Um, you have this business activity to report in your taxes. And depending on your entity type, you will be reporting your business activity on your taxes differently. So let's start real quick with a couple examples. So as a single member LLC, you report your, your business activity on Schedule C of your personal tax return. All right, so that's still just one tax return, the 1040, just like you file every year. And, but now you have this extra schedule. It's called Schedule C where you have to list out the business income and all the expense categories and you come up with a net profit. It's kind of the net cash flow from your business. And that profit moves up to page one of the 1040 and becomes taxable income to you. All right. If you've got a multi-member LLC, if you've formed a, an LLC with partners, or you've formed an LLC and made the S-Corp election, you're going to have a separate tax return. Okay, it's, it's, you're going to have a separate business tax return. The LLC, multi-member LLC files a Form 1065. An S-Corporation, whether there's more than one owner or not, an S-Corporation files the Form 1120S. And that, that means your business income and expenses is all aggregated and summarized on that separate business tax return that needs to be completed before you can file your personal 1040 tax return. So you prepare, we prepare the, the business tax return and at the end of that you get a K-1 that comes out of that business tax return. And that K-1 uh, is kind of the pass-through form that pass, uh, discloses and shows how much income is supposed that you as, as the 50% owner or whatever are going to be taxed on. All right, so the business itself does not pay taxes, but the K-1 shows the income that you earned from that business and gets reported on your personal tax return, where then you pay the taxes. So that's where the pass-through element happens. The businesses don't pay taxes, but they pass the income through on the K-1 to your personal 1040, and that's added to your taxable income there. The last entity type that uh, is out there that we see most often is the C corporation. So the C corporation is like the S corp and multi-member LLC where you have a separate tax return, but in that case there's no pass-through. So a C corp pays taxes in and of itself. And then the only income that you might be reporting from that C corp on your personal is dividends that you've received or W-2 wages that you know, if you were on payroll for the C corporation, you'd have a W-2 come for that, and then you'd report both the W-2 income and the dividends on your personal tax return.